All right, what's going on, YouTube family? Uh, first of all, my name is David Pickett, and I'm going to give you a little brief uh, information about myself. Uh, before I get started, you know, I'm inspired by a lot of YouTubers. The main one I follow is CJ on 32s. Um, I love his uh, passion for cars and custom customization. And uh, and I know ever since I was small, when I was staying in the low country, I've always loved classic cars. Uh, my favorite is the 71 Chevelle. Whenever, you know, I'm financially blessed, I plan on getting me one. But um, as far as YouTubers that I follow, I follow CJ on 32s. I highly suggest, you know, you guys go f follow him. Uh, I follow CJ so cool, CJ so smooth. Uh, Sugar Man on that, it's Mr. 75 Caprice. Mr. 75 Caprice got a badass Caprice, I ain't gonna lie. And uh, and CJ so cool, he got a, lot, a nice lineup. And CJ on 32s, his his stuff is god to almighty. His that got done in C8 is y'all gotta go see that. That's all I gotta say. Um, I've always been inspired by cars, um, but you know. Whenever I'm financially blessed to be able to do what I love, which is, of course, you know, work out and and get cars and fix them up. Um, my line of cars is more of on the classic side. Um, the 71 Chevelle, 57 Bel Air, 69 Pontiac GTO. Uh, what else? Yeah, anything classic. Uh, the 50, yeah, the 55 Bel Air. Uh, I believe, yeah, the 57 is the one that had the wing, you know, that wing on the back. Um, the GOAT, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, I can't remember the year, but the, the Pontiac GTO that had the, the butterfly headlights, I like, I like that, I like that, uh, I like that one. Um, but as far as me, you know, I'm a man of, of a lot of things. As you can see, um, I'm preparing meal number... Meal number four. Um, my goal is, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get into the. I'm trying. I'm, I'm in the bodybuilding, so you know, I paid for my N NPC card, and I was just not told that, you know, I don't have to pay for the NPC card until I'm ready for a show. So hopefully, my goal is to follow in the footsteps of Ronnie Coleman, because um, you know he was a police officer, which I'll get into that as well. And he became a bodybuilder. And, you know, he stated that, you know, people would ask him, you know, why are you still a police officer? He said that's what he loved to do. And that, and that's pretty much, you know, um, my my situation. Um, I love community relation. I love, you know, interacting with people within the community. God darn it. Freaking scale is, is going off. It's about, to go, it's about to die, actually. But um, I got to constantly eat or whatever. You know to to, uh, to make my meals, but as far as jobs, I got a lot of jobs. Um, and people ask me when do I find time to sleep, when do I find time to, you know, spend time with family. I trust me, I, I find there, there's always time. Family's most important. Um, right now I'm at my part-time job at Napa. Um, and you can see all the parts in the background. I'm upstairs, so you know this is our little cubby hole. And it's, it's hard to try to do content while driving like, you know, some of these other YouTubers do. Because, first of all, my part-time job has a camera on the inside. So we can't be on our goddamn phones while driving. Because we get dinged for that. Um, my full-time job, I am a police officer. I'm not going to say which agency. Because I got a lot of nose behind people. And, um... I don't have time for that none, none BS or whatever. And so I've been in law enforcement for about, yeah, you know, for 14 years. And I'm also in the military reserve. I served 10 years in the Marine Corps. I also did, I'm also in the Army now. Uh, when I transferred over to the Army side of the house, I became a truck driver. You know, I did that for, for a bit. And now I'm a reserve drill sergeant on post okay um 
But other than that, you know, and I also, you know, I bake and sell homemade cakes. A lot of people are like, do you really bake cakes? Uh, yes, I do. Um, you you can check out my uh, you you can check out my Facebook page. I I posted uh, some cakes on there, but I know my old Facebook page got hacked. I don't know what's wrong with people hacking and other people's stuff. Um, but it got hacked. Um, and that's about it. Other than that, you know, happy married, three kids. I got a stepson, that's, which you'll see in, you'll probably see him in most of my videos anyway, because I'm training him, you know, to, to be a, a good football player. He's in high school. He's taller than me. He takes after his dad. But he's about 6'2", 230. My goal, like I told him, my goal for him to be to is to be like 260, 270. By the time he, uh, you know, hits the field again, which, you know, I told him, I said, you know, when it's time for you to play football, you're going to be stronger because I'm taking the knowledge that my trainer has instilled in me, you know, and I'm applying it to the gym. So, you know, my stepson is, he's uh, 15, but he'll be 16 at the end of this month. My stepdaughter, she's 18, and, you know, I got a baby girl who, who just turned 8, and, you know, my lovely wife. What's ironic about that is me and my wife's birthday is right after each other. So I'm July 14th, and she's July 13th, and I'm, I'm just a year older than her. Um, my goal, my primary goal is... You know, to be able to put out some content, also on the law enforcement side, I'm going to be talking about some things as far as, you know, how to help people out, you know, as far as, you know, when they're getting stopped, what, you know, their tickets, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you know, you know I'll be giving you some insight on that. And um, there, there's a lot of things, you know, I don't want everybody to think, you know, because of what's going on on a uh, social world as far as you know how police are portrayed not all uh, yeah not all cops are bad trust me um the community that i serve i promise you the people yeah this is what i mean y'all seven ounces of uh chicken and you know three ounces of veggies um the people that i serve can tell you which you know i'm also let them interact with you know my little youtube family my soon-to-be youtube family i'll also let them tell you what they think about me and they'll, they'll tell you they'll they'll let you know that you know i'm one of the realest ones i'm one of the realest ones um the type of police officer i am i'm the type of officer that when i stop you if i pull you over you know i automatically place myself in your shoes and i ask myself after i get to my car you know, whatever I pulled you over for, have I done that before? Yeah. Because as officers, we, you know, I'm not going to lie. You got some good officers, you got some bad officers. You got officers that are out there that they don't give a darn. They're going to give you a ticket. They give their own mama a ticket. I heard that at the academy. And I'm like, really, guy? I thought I got darn serious. Um, but I'm, a, I'm, I'm the type of officer that I like to give people a second chance, you know, and especially in this day and age, you know, you don't know anybody's financial situation so you know you can't just be out there and be like oh i'm not i'm not going to try to help you out you need to um, make sure you do this payment da, 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 da. no nah, it doesn't work like that so you know i'm the type of also like like i said i like to give people a second chance like i pulled this lady over yesterday because she almost caused a three car accident she ran the red light you know little fragile older lady um she explained to me she got scared because you know people honking the horn and she thought it, she want, they wanted her to go. She thought the light was green. I, I can understand that. Have I ever ran a red light? Yes. Have I ever ran a stop sign? Yes. Have I ever drove without a seatbelt? Yes. I, I, I don't, uh, speeding tickets. You know, I give speeding tickets here and there, but I still give you a, a uh, you know, a chance. Do I speed? Yes. So, you know, I, like, like I said, I'm not gonna be the type of officer that's contradicting, give you a ticket for something that I do in my own POV, which is my own personal car. Now, as far as working out, like I said, I'm trying to become a, you know, my trainer told me that I need to do classic physique first and then work my way up. 
to um bodybuilding because I follow a lot of um professionals on Instagram. If you want to check out my Instagram page, it's uh picket d69. All right. I got a lot of stuff on there too. When we we started this damn quarantine stuff, I was doing you know home workouts. I apologize from smacking, but you know, just like CJ on 32 said, raw and uncut. You know what I'm saying? But, um, but people who know me know I love classic cars. If I ever get my, I told my wife, if we ever win this goddamn lottery, it, 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 it's a wrap. First of all, you know, I, you know, I get us, you know, I, I build our dream house. Cause I told her I build her dream house as long as I get my 12 car garage. Because she wants, well, I thought she wanted a G Wagon, but she was like, that's not my dream car. But I give my wife the world, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Um, of course, I get the Lamborghini Yours. I'll probably get the uh, S63 AMG. Everything else, old school. 69 C10, 57 Bel Air. 50s, 60s, and 70s. Oh, yeah. And an 84 Monte Carlo. So my brother and I had one. And I went after a military train. I came back. I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, Randy, where's the car at? He's like, I don't know. Stopped on the side of the road. I'm like, yo, you didn't get it back? He's like, no. I said, you didn't call the tow company? He's like, no. I'm like, man, why? Like, yo, you don't do that, man. So, of course, I'm have to get me one of them, too. But, um, hmm. But other than that, that's it, guys. And, you know, that's a little synopsis of what I do. I do a lot. Napa, part-time. Policing, full-time. Um, drill sergeant part, yeah. As a res I'm a reserve drill sergeant in the army. Um, in the Columbia area of South Carolina, I will tell you that. Um, as you can see, I'm eating. I bake. I don't do no Betty Crocker stuff. No three step. No box cake that take three things to three steps to do. They might do that. But um that's about it. One day I ain't gonna do it now because you know I'm I'm just not starting out. We'll see where it goes. I'll start talking about, you know, you know how people are afraid to to purchase certain items when when officers are present. One, it's tobacco product. For all we know, you're getting tobacco products. You ain't got, yeah. you ain't got to whisper it. You like, can I get one? Can I get a Swiss Sweet? Can I get a Swiss Sweet? I got darn man. If, if you gonna get a Swiss Sweet or Gain or Optimo, any of that. Just say what you want, man. God damn. You know, sometimes, you know, I'll be in a gas station. And I and I just be like, prime example, I'll be like, just get a platinum, man. God damn, man. And they'll look at me like, whoa, what you know about that? Let me tell you something. I don't smoke. I can't stand smoke. The smell of smoke. Each is own. I don't even like cigarette smoke. When I go on a call, I tell people, I'm like, before I talk to you, I'm gonna need to put that cigarette out. Cause me, I like to smell good. And you know, I got a lot of cologne. I like to smell good everywhere I go. I even put on cologne before I go to bed. That's another thing, guys. I gotta drink that water. Um, but yeah, I, I tell people, man, don't. For for one, if you don't want let me. 
let me tell you something. If you don't want our, this is for all the people who, who go out there and smoke. And let me make one thing clear. I am not promoting smoking marijuana at all. Let me make that clear. Because people will get this video misconstrued. This is, you know, for all, I'm just, you know, helping out a lot of people here. If you don't want the attention from law enforcement, right? Why in the world would you go and smoke loud or whatever you're smoking and get in your car and drive? That don't make sense. You know why? Because when we smell it, that gives us the opportunity to pull you over. That gives us probable cause to pull you over. Then we got to get you out the car. You probably don't fuss with your girl. You don't feel like getting out of the car. Now we got a big issue. You know, you, you don't want that. You don't want that. Like, I pulled this one female over one night. I said, ma'am, do you, you mind consenting to a search? She said, yeah, I don't mind. Which was, you know, that was nice of her. After she got through, I mean, after I got through, you know, I told her, like, you know, my female officer gonna catch her down. I pulled her to the side. I said, I said, ma'am, I said, be honest with me. I said, when the last time you smoked? She was like, when I was coming from Georgia. And I said, uh, I said, future reference. If you're gonna smoke, don't get in your car and drive. God damn, you know. Take a shower. God damn, girl. I ain't gonna lie. You know, that, that, that's what some people like to do. They like to smoke. I get it. But don't bring it to our attention. God damn. Don't do that. But anyway, that's, that, that's my soapbox on when law enforcement is present in a store or a gas station. And you're afraid to get your, your, uh, your, um, your game, your, uh, what, what, what else, the Optimo, the Swiss Sweet, whatever it is that, all, 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 the, all that stuff. Like, it's not against the law to purchase that stuff, guys. Now, what you do with it is against the law. You know what I'm saying? Because here's the thing. We, what, uh, we can't go off of what we think in court. You gotta prove it. Oh, I think he did so and so and so. That don't that. Oh, I think she did so and so and so. That don't fly in court. So, for for as all we know, in the court's eyes, you're purchasing tobacco products. That's it. Now, what you do with that tobacco product is on you. Now, what you do in your own home that's on you. But don't don't bring it to the street when you bring it to our attention, and then get mad when we when we pull you over. Just don't do that, guys. Just just don't do it. Like I said, I'm I'm one of the coolest and realest cops out there. Yeah. Don't drink and drive when technically everybody drinks and drive because everybody will go out to dinner and. If you if you have a glass of wine or a shot, anything, that's still considered drinking and driving. But at the same time, you don't need to be going out and getting wasted, guys, because you put somebody else's life in there. You really are. But I got some more I got I got a little bit more stuff to you know to entail and what I do. Um as I get more subscribers. Or if God bless me to the point where I can start doing stuff that I really want to do, I purchase my retirement and I start buying cars and and customizing. Like I've always said that I would love to uh, take some uh, classic cars to uh, to Texas because I want Richard. Ra I would want Richard Rollins. I you know I follow his channel on YouTube, Gas Monkey Garage. I love that show. I just hate it when Aaron Kaufman had to lead the show. So, but, you know, Aaron Kaufman, he's doing his own thing. But I've always said, if I ever get rich, you know, I would, I would have Richard Rawlins, I will have him build my cars. And see, he like, he like middle, he likes that middle life. So I, I go down there with a goddamn, goddamn, Fit the pack of Miller Lite and some cash and be like, 
I'll probably give him 500000 I'll be like, I want, I need three cars built. Frame off restoration. Brand new frame, wild wheel brakes. You know what I'm saying? I want everything with whipper superchargers. Everything with whipper supercharger. Ford rotating assembly. Everything brand spanking new. Interior. Another guy that I follow too is Stitch by Slick. I'm going to tell you, I feel like a kid in the candy store when I was in uh, his shop. He's off Airport Boulevard. I didn't even know he was in the, um, the Columbia area. Because when I found out he did Snoop Dogg's car, I thought, you know, he was up in Cali somewhere. And then I realized Snoop Dogg, if I'm not mistaken, you know, if y'all have watched that video, if y'all know about it, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think Snoop Dogg shipped his car down here. So, you know, I went in there and I told him, you know, I got a... I got, a, I got a 2020 Tundra. I want to get some stuff done to it. I want everything wrapped in leather. He was like, seven grand. So I told him, I was like, I'll be back. It won't be today, but I'll be back one day. Um, but yeah, man. I love cars. I love them. Like, yesterday, prime example. I was out patrolling, right? So I saw, I saw this matte black Camaro, about a '69, and I was like, I pulled up to the side of him at the light. I was like, so I didn't want to let you know you got a badass Camaro, man. And he said he's been working on it for the past two years. When you're working on classic cars, I know, man, it takes time and money, especially if if you're not ball, like if you're not balling like that, it takes a long time. And it takes money. You gotta get parts here and there. But for people who got it like that, it still takes time and money. But I think, damn, I'm out of food. This food is good. But um, it's easier on them. Easier on them. Because, you know, they got the funds to be able to get stuff. But I would love to customize my cars as well. My truck, my Yukon, and these little two cars. Um, a little about a little bit about uh, last year. You know, you know, I I got a, an individual. He he's always talking about you know everybody in big balling like like you. I said I'm not big balling. You know, but I receive it because one day I will be. I don't know what God has in store for me. Hopefully, He has that in store for me. But so April of last year, I bought a a twenty twenty a twenty twenty Toyota Tundra. That's my dream truck, right? I ain't gonna lie, like you know, when you marry, you got you gotta you gotta talk about things to your wife initially. The first uh early the uh early part of what it was what two about a year and a half before last year i bought a truck which was a tundra it wasn't even the, the type of tundra i wanted because it was just a base model you know the halogen lights you know not too fancy and my wife called me and she was like what you doing i was like oh you know i'm driving home with my new truck she hung up the phone 30 seconds later she called me and she was like so, we don't talk about things. I'm like, I, you know, me, I'm thinking, you know, she was tired of me putting money in my Yukon. So I'm like, sure, I go get a truck. And she's like, nah, you taking that truck back. So I drove her home, right? My neighbor came outside. He was like, oh, man, this is nice. I'm like, yeah, man, it's nice, but I got to take this truck back tomorrow. He's like, why? I'm like, yeah, you know, I didn't consult this with my wife. Well, for everybody out there, you know, that's married, you always gotta consult big purchases with your wife. So, big purchases. So, anyways, long story short, I waited, being patient, I got exactly what I wanted. You know, I got my truck. It got the um, what does it have? LED lights. It has the LED headlights, daytime lights, uh, fog lights. GPS, uh, Android Auto, which, you know, is the GPS type stuff. Has everything. 
However, I wish Toyota made that goddamn screen a little bit bigger. Because they need to get with the program because Dodge, with, uh, when it comes to Dodge, they um, they got their screen is huge. I like that about Dodge. Um, and then fast forward to November of last year, which was our uh, eight year anniversary. I went to the Lexus dealership and uh, I got rid of her Acadia. I ain't gonna lie, man. That, that got darn thing started giving me problems. I, I remember taking a I had uh, I pulled the whole front end off to fix uh, what I did. I, I did headlights. I did it was some other stuff I did, but I did at the crash shop on post because at um, on post you know there's a, a shop that we can rent out and uh, work on, which is cheaper. So I ended up doing a lot of work on her car and at, at that shop. But anyways, I ended up getting her uh, a 2021 Lexus RX350 for our eight year anniversary. Um, now, you know, of course, you know, one of my one of my coworkers told me, you know, you big bond, da 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 da. I'm like, no, it takes time, preparation and preparation. I think I'm saying that right. Preparation and good credit. God darn it. You know, it's hard to have good credit. I don't, I don't have the, um, I don't have that 800 credit score. Which, you know, my goal is uh, to have a, a 750 and higher by the end of next year, which I know I'll have. But I had a good enough credit to be able to get um, to get her that car. And, you know, I've always told my wife I wanted to get her something with no miles on it because, you know, she's always been there for me through thick and thin. And. When I tell you thick and thin, I mean that. I ain't gonna get no details about it, but through thick and thin, she's been there. So, I know next year uh, is our 10 year anniversary. So, we're gonna be renewing our vows. Uh, we're saving up now to, um, to be able to go to Hawaii for a week. And uh, in April, we're going to Aruba. I can't wait for that. Cause I ain't gonna lie. Like I told her, I said I'm gonna eat, drink, pool, shop. I want to shop, but she's like, you know, she loves the pool. My wife loves the pool. She loves the water. I'm not the pool, but the, um, the beach. You know, so she loves the water. Um, but other than that, um, that's that's a little bit about me as far as what I did today. Uh, I got up, ate. You know, I'm, I'm eating six meals a day you know my training got me on six meals is it six or seven i think it's uh what's on my phone yeah i think it's like six or seven meals a day um um you know i work out a lot too so you know all due to this quarantine you know i'm getting back into it so like i told her i said my goal hitting aruba in april is to be 250 because it seems like um, you know, to win these competitions, you gotta be bigger than everybody else. You know, I'm not out here using steroids and none of that stuff. Um, eating, taking vitamins, and I'm taking some SARM products. I don't know if you guys are familiar with some SARM products. If you want, you know, I'll go ahead and uh, let you guys see the SARMs that I'm taking. Um, even though right now I only have one subscriber, you know, you gotta crawl before you can walk. So I, I do see myself having a, a big fan base of, of just being the person who I am. I'm a people person. I like to talk. My wife say I talk too goddamn much. She's not lying. If if I if you get on the topic about military, we can talk. If you get on the topic about cars, we can talk. Like I like all that stuff. I like all that stuff. Um, one day I'll be able to meet my uh, YouTubers that I follow. Um one day it'll happen um i really want to meet cj on 32 because I, I, I like i like his lineup of cars he has like i said i got there in c8 and pops like every time you take a uh car over this uh to his pop he, his pop is like yeah this 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 it right here this it right here no, this the one this the one nah shoot, cj got all the cars man and and for all those 
that's out there that think they, you know, can't get nothing because of their bad situation. I promise you, if you watch CJ on 32s, he's a big inspiration for those. Um, I'm not going to dig into his life or his past. You just got to watch his, you got to watch his YouTube channel to find that out. But he's come, like he said, he come a long way. So, like he said, if he can do it, anybody can do it. And, you know, you just, like he said, you just got to get up and grind. So, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see where this YouTube thing takes me. Um, I'll let you see my journey of, you know, working out stuff. Um, I got to figure out how the heck I'm a vlog while patrolling. Um, I, I, I got to see how, how, how well that's going to go. I know one thing, if I see a car, you know, I'm, I'm going to stop and be like, so, you know, what? You know, can you tell us a little bit, a little bit of history about this car? Because it's good to know the history about a, uh, behind a classic car. So, but um, you know, it's about time for me to get off, and I gotta take one of my pills. So, hey, man. so with that being said, I'll be right back. You don't know suit about what? Huh? About what? Ha! <laughs> Sucks for him. Hey, don't leave me shit up. So I was saying what they said about me in it. Mm. And I'll tell you this. There's 32, uh, 32 emails with my name on it in the email. Mm. Not from me. Uh, all right, guys. Well, we about to get out of here. Hope hope you like the the. Uh, oh no no no! I'm, I'm talking to my one oh. subscriber that I have. No 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 no! You good man? You good? You good? No, I'm, I'm doing the closing out the closing out part. But uh, hope you guys like the little brief um, information and the little talk we had. Uh, to stay motivated. Um, one thing I'm not going to talk about on this channel is goddamn politics. I don't give a damn about politics. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because people can say what they want to say about politics, but there's a greater God. So, politics may say this, that, and the other. I don't give a damn. I also don't give a damn who's in office. Because of the fact that whoever's in office is considered my commander-in-chief. I have to respect it, whether I like it or not, because I'm military. I'm still in the military, so that's one thing I never speak on is politics. I don't give a damn about politics. When the conversation is on politics, I walk the, I walk the hell away. I really do. I'm going tell you right now. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's me. This is my little part-time gig. I'm trying to hustle, trying to, trying to get it in. Hopefully, you know... When I retire in 11 years, hopefully I have my Chevelle by then. We'll see. My 71 Chevelle. We'll see what happens. But peace out. Y'all have a good one.